I wish you all very uh, good luck, and uh, just remember, just enjoy yourself as much as you can. This morning is first of its kind for us, testing their dogs out for uh, equivalently what's termed as urban search and rescue. So these canines have been going through extensive amount of training for over two years now to get to this point. These folks and dogs are gonna be tested out in four general categories. Uh, one of those being obedience. You're simple down, stay. Come. Then you'll do a, an obstacle course. From there, they'll do a, an actual search and rescue. And the last is the directional. Dogs gotta be able to on your command, move right, move left, move back, and so they have to operate as kind of an extension of your own hand. Slow. Slow. Uh, it was a rough night's sleep last night. I was a little nervous for him. He slept fine, but uh, my dog's Brewer. Out here, they kind of laugh and joke. They call him a bulldozer because he's a massive lab. He's about 120 pounds. Come. Stop. Stop. The, the common factor with all these dogs is high play drive. So they, they reward for doing a good task, on a, doing a good search, on doing good obedience, on doing a good job through the obstacle course is, is that high praise and reward. Once they hit the search and rescue pile, the handler and dog will march up to the pile. Go search. So the dog is going to go do it, run up on the pile and then do its search. And, its nose is going to pinpoint exactly where they, they find the scent. And they're amazing, have amazing um, ability to, to lock down on a scent within, you know, 20, 30 yards. My dog's alerting that there is a possible victim right in this area here. These dogs can offer something that tools, specialty tools that we can't offer, um, we can't buy. Because uh, their ability to, to have that high sense of smell, they have uh, ability to get in and do stuff that tools can't do. Next step is to continue training. Uh, it really never stopped for the dogs or us. Uh, we need as much training as them. Usually the dogs know what to do more than we do. If, we, if they go through their whole careers and all they do is play out here and train, that's okay because it means nothing bad has happened out there. But if it does happen, we're ready to go and be involved and do what they came to do.